Do you want to learn how to make professional looking DJ promo videos for free using just your phone? Let's find out how. Hey guys, Lawrence James here. So before you go out and spend money on a DSLR camera, on some editing software like Final Cut Pro, on some production software like Ableton and waste all that money, we're gonna make professional looking and sounding videos using the phone that we already own and the controller that we already have. Okay guys, so here we are inside my phone. I've just recorded a super basic front on. I got Danny to hold the camera filming me using the DVJ 400 inside of record box and I'm recording directly into record box. Um, super simple. Um, if you need any more information on how to record direct audio, I'll leave some links in the comments to our articles and our videos. So we'll just play through this mix, super basic mix. We didn't use the studio lights or anything like that. It's just the normal lights. Again, Danny's holding the phone, filming me doing a mix. Super basic mix, right? So the next thing we're gonna do is, we're gonna install an app called InShot. So when you've downloaded InShot, this is the page you will see. So we're gonna go and create a new video. So we're gonna click video, click new. Then we're gonna import our video. There it is, click tick. So it's gonna import it and you'll be faced with something like this. So our video has been imported, you can see it here. So for the purpose of this video, let's go and say we're gonna make a video for Instagram. So if we click on canvas, here we have all our templates for our different kind of social media. You see we've got two Instagram templates here. You can have no frame. This is for YouTube. This is for TikTok, etc. So let's go and click on the first one for Instagram. So that's resized it for us perfectly. Our next tab here, zoom, you can zoom right in. If you don't want the borders, you can zoom right in. You can zoom right out as well. Let's have it in the middle. I'm gonna leave the borders on for the purpose of this video. And then the next tab is background. So we can, let me just sort this zoom out. Yeah, background. So there's different options. At the top, you've got blur. So you can have full blur and incrementally it gets less blurry. You can go and add an image if you want to select that. You can go and download an image from your um, album. Or you can have, uh, you know, block colors. Let me just zoom in a little bit more. You can have um, block colors like this. You can have gradients. Um, and you can have different patterns as well. So I am using a paid version. The free version will give you loads and loads of options. So some of these options may not show in your, um, as you, when you download it for free, you might have like a watermark, which you can get rid of. I think you can get rid of it once for free. Um, so there's enough in the free version for you to be able to make, um, you know, perfectly good looking, professional looking quality. So I'm gonna go and I'm gonna use maybe this blur. I like this blur here. Um, if I just play it through. Yeah, that looks cool. So I'm gonna select tick. So next what I wanna do is I wanna trim the video. As you can see at the beginning of the video, it's me kind of just preparing to press record. So let's go to where the actual beginning of the mix sounds. Yeah, just there. Yeah, so I'm gonna drag it to there. I'll select the clip and then we wanna find split. Here it is, click on split and then select the beginning part that you want to delete. So that's selected and then just hit the trash can and it's deleted. Now we're at the beginning of our video. Perfect. And we want to do that for the end section as well. So let's just go to the end. Yeah, somewhere there. So let's just select the clip on the end bit and hit split. Make sure the end bit is selected, hit the trash. Cool, so let's scroll to the beginning of our section in our timeline. Now, this is the most fiddly part of it. We're gonna import the audio. So, if I just send the audio to my phone now, if you are using AirDrop, um, it'll come up like this and there's an option, it says AirDrop open with, and you can select InShot, uh, which I'll do now, InShot. 
select the music folder, press OK. And then we're going to select this icon here, music, select tracks, select imported music. And there it is, iPhone mixes at the top. Now, if you don't have the airdrop system, wherever you saw, store your um, recorded, recorded um, audio in your phone, you can just click select import and it'll come up with files. And you just select, go, go through your phone, select the file and import the audio. Cool. So I'm going to go ahead and import this iPhone mix, press use. So what you want to do now is you've got at the bottom here, you've got the volume of your video and the volume of your audio playing right here. So I want to select the video at the bottom and I just want to mute the video for now. So press the volume all the way down, press tick. And then this is the audio at the top. So select the audio at the top. So I can see that this is where the audio starts just because of the waveform. So what we want to do is we want to select the track and then we're going to drag this left hand corner down to the very beginning of our track. And if you select, if you hold down with your finger, you can just drag this to the beginning of the timeline. So let's move to our beginning. So we can use our two fingers to zoom in a little bit further and see if we've got the right spot. It looks like we do. So what we want to do is we just want to test that we are exactly in time. So if we get to somewhere where the drop is, and then what we want to do is select our video underneath and just put the volume up a bit. And we're just going to make sure that these are both uh, pretty much in time. Yeah, so that sounds great. There's no kind of clashes or distortion or anything like that. So again, select the bottom um, video clip, turn the volume down. And now we've got video with direct audio perfectly in sync with the mix. Exactly what we want to do. So let's pause that, press tick to confirm it. So that's locked in now. So let's look at the other features we can do in this app. If we're making a promo video, we're going to go and promote what we want to, um, what we want to um, promote. So let's click on this text button and let's go with house mix. So let's say we're doing a house mix. Let's type in house mix. So basic text and you can drag this now let's drag it to the top of the bar and make this a lot bigger you can just drag the corner there to make that bigger I want a couple more spaces in there just to make sure it looks good that looks good so here is where we can edit our text so if we click on here we've got the colors we can change colors um, we've got border you can have a border around it around the text you can change how thick the border is here by dragging this at the bottom. Um, you can select no border. You can have a shadow, add a shadow to it. Again, as bright or as, um, as, as oh, drag the opacity up and down, sorry. You can have a label on the back, so the back of it, so to make it really stand out, which is a cool feature. and the opacity, so how much you see of it. So I'm gonna keep this for the purpose of video pretty simple. I'm just gonna have a text, no shadow, just a white plain text. This is a cool feature. So this is the transitions and how it how it reacts. So here we have basic transitions. So when your video starts to play, this is how it will come in and out. So you can see you can select in or out. So the beginning of the video, this is how the text will appear in the video, this will flash in. This will come from the left, this will come from above, this will come from the right, etc. Down here, you can have looping text all the way through it. So you can have that playing all the way through the video. You can have it kind of heart beating, which is pretty cool. You can have it kind of swing in. You can have it flash in. So we're gonna go with a simple transition on the beginning and the outro as well. Let's use that. Cool, so here is the timeline. So you can see here's where our text, but it ends a little bit through the video. So what we wanna do is we wanna click at the end part here and click video end. So that will now play all the way through the video. 
perfect. Let's add another text layer to the bottom panel. So we click add text. Let's just put um, 2020. So how's mix 2020? Again, select that, drag it, drag it down, make it bigger. Again, we want it to play all the way through the video. So just click video end. You can go and edit that. If you want to, you can just click on it. You, this is the edit icon in the top, a little pencil tool, or you can click edit in this bit, this row of text here. Um, you can go and edit that as well. Here's all the fonts, different fonts you can change it to, which is cool. So we'll keep it the same for now. Cool, so let me just press play. So there we go, already looking pretty cool. So we'll select tick and lock that in. Back on our timeline, so let's have a look at some other features. Here we've got stickers. If this is your kind of style, again, I am using the paid version. Some you will get some free you will get some free stickers with it, and you can unlock loads of different ones. Um, but you will get some um, with the free with the basic pack as well. So again, so let's have a look at this. We can add in this wow, we can move it, maybe twist it a little. Um, make it a bit shorter. Let's see how that, oh, let's get rid of that. We don't want that in there. <laughs> um, so let's have a look at that. So that looks pretty cool to me. If this is your kind of style, again, you might just want something super clean, but if you want to add some bells and whistles just for the sake of this video, let's have this all the way through. So click video beginning, click on that, video end. And now this is looking pretty cool. Um, so we click tick, let's lock that in. Let's go to the next feature. So I think this video needs a bit of life. It looks, uh, it's you know, it's just recording on a phone with just um, regular lights. There's no kind of studio lights. So let's go ahead and try and brighten up this whole thing. So we click on filter. You've got effects, filters, and adjust. Comes pre-packed with loads of filters in there that you can go and add straight away. But I wanna just go to this adjust level. And I know this looks a little bit dark, so I wanna just brighten this up now. And look at that already looking hundred times better than it was. Let's go into contrast, fiddle around with this contrast level yet, yeah, looking again a lot brighter. Let's add some warmth to it. Perfect, so we're essentially adding our own filter, um, but to fit our exact taste as opposed to using a preset. I love to add a little bit of saturation, which gives out a bit more warm color. There we go. You can add things like film grain at the end if you want to go crazy. Um, so click ticks, let's, let's lock that in. I think that looks really good. Um, so let's try it, let's add some effects in. Again, you can add more effects onto the packages. You can have the pro package and things like that. So I've got the glitch effect in here, which is my, one of my favorite features about this whole app. So if I select that look, already starts to make your video look a bit edgy. Um, you can turn down the volume, that, that might be a bit harsher. Let's turn down the value really low so it's just kind of a little bit of an effect in there click tick again this is like a glitch layer so we'll click on the glitch click on this click the video end perfect press play you know we've just got that little bit of glitch going on in there just to add a little bit of spice to our mix i think this is looking pretty cool already let's go ahead and click tick and there we go, guys. Again, you can unlock this. There's so many things you can do inside of this um, free app. Um, and again, you can upgrade for three ninety five a month, I believe it is. Um, and yeah, let's go add one more thing. So let's go to the end of this mix. And let's say I want to add in a logo at the end. So I'll go ahead and click this button here, this red add button and you can select a blank text so if you want a blank piece of um, video which you can add like text over it or something like that um, you can select that let's go and add in our photo let's find our logo here it is adding that so this is added it into the end of the video which we deleted earlier but the audio will still play over it so if we press play look at that to finish up the video perfect and it's under a minute that'll go straight onto our Instagram and that's great so 
Like I say, guys, there's so many features inside of this app that you can do. Again, you might just want it simply for matching up video to audio, which is definitely the most important thing you guys should be doing. Nobody wants to hear all the clicks and pops and things like that from, from a controller when you're watching a video. It just sounds unprofessional. So when you want to save this, you just click in the Save button here, click Save, and it will render and save down into your camera roll and you can go ahead and you know upload that and share it to your instagram your facebook um, you can even edit in youtube videos in this app uh, again you don't need to go out and spend loads of money on uh, extra equipment uh, you know in the studio in our office we use you know final cut pro and logic to edit things um, but again you can do everything professional inside this one app one app using the phone that you already own so you don't have to go and spend any more money there we go all saved and we can upload that to our various um various socials So there we go guys, a very simple free way that you can start building content, getting followers, getting gigs, speaking to promoters, using the content that you're making, making it look super professional looking and sounding. Hope that's helped you out in some way. Thanks for watching.